Blub, blub, blub. I'm uh, streaming Spyro. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't talk a lot, so don't be surprised if I sound silly. All right. All right. All right. So I'm starting off. I'm about halfway through the game right now. I'm actually, a little bit more than that. Uh, I've just been going through each stage and 100%ing everything because that's just how I like to play the game. So uh, the remaster, uh, I don't really have any complaints about it. Let me know if volume is too high or too low. By the way. I mean, the, the only difference I really see is that they took away the little flutter you can do. And they add this little roll here, that's pretty cool. played the first game and it was, I have finished it but it was like I don't know 12 years ago long time The norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity, and it really stinks.
Yeah, I'm a little bit tired from work, so don't be surprised if I make stupid mistakes. But then again, don't be surprised if I do it anyway. I'm not like amazing at this game or anything. Try that again. I think the enemies don't respawn if I die, but they do if I go out of the level and come back. Maybe they do. Okay. Yeah, I suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do not blame you at all, Spyro. That happens a lot. Yeah. All right, now time to find all the stuff. Hi, Jaden. I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me?
how are you? I'm a bit sleepy because uh, computer training at work is really boring and so it makes me tired. But I'm now home and playing as you can see, so I will become more awake, I think. Or I'll just fall asleep. Hopefully I don't fall asleep uh, driving the dragon. Yeah, it's nice. Like, I think I'm gonna play for uh, for a little while because my friend asked me to stream this, and then I'll probably draw. Well, hopefully I'll draw because I need to do that. Like, that's really important. But yeah, I'm uh, just noodling around, I guess. By the way, this game is so good. I don't know if you've ever played the original, but... Oh man, fantastic. I know it looks like I'm running around in circles, and uh, that's because I am. I'm trying to figure out where the next treasure is. You know, you get the idea. I know I, there's a button that tells me how to get, to, or that tells me where to go. Yeah, this is really a faithful remaster. Um, usually you can't really say that about games that have been remade. But then again, it's Spyro, so how could they screw it up, right? Like I'm gonna have to jump from here. And whoop. Oh, can I? Could I have just what? Hold on. Yeah, I would. Uh, I'd let you use my PS4 account, but the thing is, uh, you have to play it. It it doesn't allow game sharing, so I had to buy this. Because I was going to borrow my roommate's, uh, you know, account because she bought it. <clears throat> it doesn't work. And I don't know if you have a PS4 or not, but... I think it's on PC as well. You have an X bone. Nothing wrong with that. Mm, where is there? You go. All right, cool. I can leave here. Hey, that's a good. That's probably going to be a good game. I mean, you play as uh, old man Dante, old Mante. He'll be all like, "Hey, kids! When I was your age, I was slaughtering demons with one hand tied behind my back, and no feet." But I'm glad that they brought the old Dante back. I mean... 
Hi, honey. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, we could play it uh, in a little while if you want. I wanted to do the new client orders with uh, with Partnia because I want to get those uh, stones for the weapons. Huh. Oh, I wouldn't stop streaming. But if you want to rest, it's okay too. I started streaming this because Wolfie wanted to watch, but I don't know if he is going to be here or not. Like, he's AFK. By the way, I really enjoy my new job so far. Like... Yeah, it's, it's a lot better than Walmart. Like... I know it's, you're going to be like, yeah, it's obvious it's going to be better than Walmart, but you know, like, trust me, it's, when, when you live it, it's different. But yeah, like I was talking to the person who was training me today and I'm like, you know, I'm really glad to be here because it's so much better than Walmart and uh, she's like oh really I'm like yeah like it just it feels like you care you know just everyone here seems to care and she's like yeah you're gonna fit right in here you know and you'll be fine everything's laid back no one's gonna be all up in your grill you know and I'm just like that's exactly what I wanted Like, the kind of job I'm going to be doing is kind of still, uh, you know, physical, but I don't really mind that as much. Because uh, they have a really heavy, heavy emphasis on you, like, as a person. They're like, hey, you know, don't do anything that's going to hurt you. Uh, it, it doesn't matter if the job takes longer. Like, you need to make sure that you're okay, because then you can go home happy to your family. And, like, that's what their main core values are. Like, they basically say, like, you gotta make your home like the best place possible or something like that. Uh, also, I have insurance now, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I can, like my stuff for dental and medical and vision is gonna be a lot cheaper for me. Yeah, it, it, I'm, I, uh, thank you, by the way, Jaden. Uh, all it took was me just leaving Walmart, pretty much. I mean, the people I'll feel bad about leaving, or I feel bad about leaving, because, you know, there are really nice people, like the ones I work with, at least. But, uh, it's just, that's not a good place for anybody. It's not a good setting. Like, Walmart itself is just... Attack frog. Uh, I forgot what I was saying, but if it involved Walmart, it was probably saying something bad about it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm glad. I'm glad if people work there and then they can have a good experience. Like that's great. You know, not every Walmart's going to be the same. But from my experience, just not. I'm not ever going to work there again. So. Where am I going? Let's just go over here. See what we can do. I want to go up here then. Eh? 
right, we're going over here. Oh, he came at me. I'm used to them not coming towards me. Uh, oh. There's a lot of enemies over there. Anyway, we're gonna take out these guys. I always get super nervous about like charging those metal boxes next to the edge. I wouldn't risk it either. I mean, the thing about Walmart is that uh, it's not like there is careers there, but it's I don't think it's really meant for a career. I think it's a job before the job kind of thing. Like you get your, get your feet in the ground a little bit, get some money, get some experience, and then be like, all right, uh, what do I want to do next? You know, it's like a it's like a job just to get by. That's what you should get if if you're going to work there. But. Uh, don't don't plan on just staying in one spot because it's gonna get it's always changing it's always nonsense. And they make it seem like oh that's just because you know we're a Fortune 500 company and you know we're so big that it's just gonna be crazy like that's not even like close because you know Lowe's for example is like a Fortune. 50 or lower or you know higher and they have structured plans for everything and they communicate well with each other they have like huh whose names oh you mean like stores places Well, I mean, okay, I guess that's true. But I'm just rating it as a personal experience. Um, you know, reputation kind of speaks for itself. And they can get mad about me saying something like that, but it's their own fault, so. I'm not releasing any sensitive information. Like, I learned uh, about personal information and public information today from uh, my current employer. And, you know, it was important information, so. Basically, it's okay to release public information. And I think public, uh, as far as, uh, as far as my experience goes, it's okay to release that, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, it'd be good to do part-time, just if you want to have a side, if you want to do that as a side job, because, you know, you're going to need some free time to, to draw, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to not, I'm not going to name any names anymore, because, uh, Honey has a good point, so. I'm just a sleepy. That's all I am. By the way, is the volume okay? Everything's fine here. Oh, you. You. You're, you're next. I'm looking at you. But, I... The mixing? Like, what do you mean?
Uh, how do I do that? Can I do that here? Broadcasting audio. Audio sharing settings. No. Advanced settings. Uh, I think I just went in. Um, hmm. I do remember there was a way to change the volume. Just am not remembering. Yeah, it's probably that. Oh, here we go. Just microphone level. Bleh. Bleh. Okay, well that's... Oh, whoop. All audio, no. Speaker for controller. Mm. There was a thing that would control the audio from here, but yeah, it's probably from the game. If anything, I'll uh, I'll turn it down here. How about this? Is that okay? I mean, I can still hear the game, so... Alright, cool. Oh! Excuse you! Come here. All right. Okay, so I was gonna say before I got you know maliciously beaten down, I uh, you know I just want to take a moment to appreciate like Spyro's model here. Like it's all pretty and smooth and you know looks like a cute lizard dragon. You know, he even has like idle animations, like really good ones. And Sparks comes up and says hi to the camera. Oh yeah, this is, I bet it's really hard to animate this stuff. But uh... Yeah, he sneezes and he like burns the grass and you know, he cleans his hands and stuff. It's cute. His paws. And like, he just, he has this cute little like, he's scamper. I'm gonna call that a scamper. Like he's just, look at him trotting around like, it's, it's adorable. problem buddy uh something i do really like uh, the redesign of all the dragons like they were they were cool before but like they all look more unique now so a lot of the enemies too like before i couldn't tell what they were uh back in the day like oh you i just got i just got dark sold
I think it'd be interesting to see if it was in, you know, Brazil. Portuguese Spyro. Yeah. That's what I meant to. Like... I know that when they moved it to Japan, it got a lot of weird changes about it. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say, necessarily say they were weird changes, but uh, yeah, and I can see that too, translation being a problem. Uh, it takes a lot of work to translate a game, and a lot of people just assume that it's just, oh, you just insert the text here and it works. Uh, no, that's not exactly it. I know that you understand that, honey, because you're into programming and making games and stuff. But. Because you, besides like just flat translating the game, you have to turn it into like. It, it has to make sense because languages are different and they have different rules and structures, as well as like. Uh, culturing. Like if you have a joke in one language, it's not going to be the same thing in another. Like pop culture is a big thing, so. Yeah, I've noticed that, like, gaming has become a lot more popular, you know, as of late in, like, Brazil. I mean, they make really good games. Uh, Knights of Pen and Paper, uh, Momodora, I don't know a lot of other ones, but you can, you can name a few if you want, honey. Bubba the Dragon. Did I get everything? No. Oh no, I did not. So I'm gonna let you guys know a secret. Uh, back in the day, like the first game, if you pushed L1, R1, L2, and R2 together, uh, sparks would like point towards the treasure. In this game, it's a little different. They switch the buttons around, so because if you push R1 or L1, he's gonna roll. If you push L3 in, sparks will just be like, hey look, there's treasure over here, go over there. I usually don't use it unless, like, I'm feeling lost or I'm in a hurry, so let's, uh, let's see where he's pointing. It's, it's up. All right. Yeah, it's something I think they teach you at the... Well, they don't really teach you in the first game. Yeah, no problem. Like... Because in the second game, it's an actual ability you get, I think, if it's near the end of the game. Like, Sparks will point towards treasure and yet they'll get it. But uh, it's something I learned from just trying it out, because I was like, hey, I want to get treasures, so. Uh, all right. By the way, there is some tight jumps in this game. The re-nuzzled, uh, the re-nuzzled trilogy. Hello, Wolfie. Nice. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. You think I can make it? I'm gonna try. God. Yeah, of course, no problem. Oh, hi. Thanks for wanting to watch. By the way, uh...
Yeah, Jane's a fluffy boy. Oh, he's gonna... That, that would be adorable. Like, his chest gets super inflated and he's just a big fluff. Alright. Let's see, do I have any... Skill points in this area? No, it's just metal head. Okay. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, uh, Wolfie, this is Jaden, and Jaden, this is Wolfie. Both of them are, both of you are really cute, and you should nuzzle and hug. By the way, if there's anyone watching that doesn't know, uh, I'm a furry, or could tell from my art or my, uh, stream stuff, yeah, I'm a furry, so deal with that. As I fail my jump. As I say that, someone leaves. Yeah, okay. Could be coincidence. Could not be. No, something, something really great about my new job the vending machines are like from the future. Like, just the vending machines sold me for that place. Like, I've never seen the, I've never seen like, the selection that good. Like, they have, they have full on like, cold sodas in there. Like, the 20 ounce ones that you see at like, the front of the store in the, in the cold refrigerators. Like, they have like a huge selection of those in one vending machine and they have like, energy drinks and you know, peace teas from Arizona, and uh, the next one over has just a vending machine full of food. And then there's a there's a coffee vending machine that sells like hot chocolate and all sorts of great stuff. But uh, if you buy something from the vending machine with the drinks, uh, there's this like arm thing that moves up and grabs and grabs the drink for you, so it doesn't just drop down and get all shook up and stuff. Like it grabs it and then like brings it over and there's like this revolving plastic thing that just turns and it's like here grab the thing and i know it's like it's silly and stuff that i'm nerding out over a vending machine but like there you go technology Missing one, two, three, four, five, six. Missing two levels. Mm -hmm. I'll, uh, you know what? It also takes cards, so I could just swipe my card there. It also uh, stops it from getting jammed, I think, a little bit, which is a big problem. Uh, there's also a nice thing too, uh, like on the shelving, there's, there's this really interesting design that they have where instead of it being like a peg hook where you just put all the merchandise on it and like hang it, uh, you know, like for stickers, for example, or, you know, literally anything that you would just hang on a, on a, you know, a little pole thing. Uh, instead of that, they have these, it, it's like a vending machine where there's a coil and you spin it yourself to get the merchandise to come forward. And once it coils up to the front, like it drops it into your hand. Instead of it being like something you pull forward. It, it really does deter like, they call it shelf sweeping, which is like when someone comes through there and just, you know, empties the whole thing. But yeah, the, they, they do look forward. Uh, there's a lot of projects that I don't think I could talk about because this uh, that's not privy to the not uh, to the to the public yet, so I won't. But um, 
trust me, there's a lot of cool stuff, and yeah, it's 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 a good time to be working there. They only had five keys on the keyboard. Those people just take the keys off and just leave it. That's silly. But it makes sense. It sounds about right. Like the funny thing is, uh, our one of the trainers there, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna be uh, bad mouthing this place a little bit. So not not the place we were working at, but uh, you know, the place where I formerly worked at. He's like, yeah. So please be, don't be offended. I'm like. Oh man, don't worry about it. Like, there's a reason why we came here, you know. And uh, the stories he had to tell were pretty, uh, were pretty bad. Like, I'm surprised that that place is still open, to be honest. Like, if I if I had heard about that in my store, like, I would have been angry. You know, like I would have said like, hey, you can't be doing that to customers kind of thing. You need to take, you need to fix yourselves or, you know, you're probably going to get in trouble. Basically, it was like they wanted help and there was nobody in the electronics area. is that you need to pay for physical game. And I'm like... Mm. Oh, yeah, you gotta pay for the... Like, the way they lock the game up and then stuff like that, like... It would be fine, but the problem is that the person who's supposed to be in that area is never in the area, and this is a common problem. Uh, you know, you come there and you, any kind of review of the store, you're going to find that, like, there's no one in the area. I asked someone else in a different area, they just told me it's not my area, they didn't help me at all, they just went back to working. Or, you know, like, they just laughed, you know, kind of thing. Like, how could you do that to a customer? To be honest, like, that's just ridiculous. That's like on par with like, yelling at them or like, you know, telling them to F off kind of thing. If you make it, someone tell me, um, how was it? I read that like, people won't remember what you do for them, but they'll remember how you make them feel. And I'm pretty sure that that's going to make someone feel pretty bad, so... Yeah, that's, that's what they should be doing, is uh, they need to uh, get someone who has the keys, so... Yeah, the thing too is like they're not gonna have formal training, so uh, anyone can be working in area, any area, which is fine. Okay, you know I'm not trained in in anywhere specifically, but uh, most of the time they're gonna hire people who don't know about the area they're in. So 
unless they've been working there for a while, they're not going to know answers. Uh, they're not going to know things by name. Of course, it'd be better if they were specialists, but you can't ever, you're not going to find specialists unless, like, you know. Yeah, it should be, but they just need people to fill the, you know, fill in shoes until, like, someone else can come by. Like, literally, there's people who have, like, degrees in certain things, and, you know, they'll stick them in places that they don't need to be. It's... I could go on and on and on about this. I mean, yeah, that's... that's how you think it would be. But yeah, the guy was telling us, like, he went to the store... He, he was in a hurry because, you know, he, it was like nighttime. And he was trying to buy a controller for his daughter. Oh, crap, I don't, jumped. Um, but yeah, there was no one in that area and he was waiting there and he was getting impatient. And, you know, he needed someone to get the key so that he can get the controller off the thing. And the first person he asked was like, yeah, I'll, I'll help you. Or, yeah, I help you out. And then they just went off and started doing their work and didn't do anything about it. Uh, the second person was like, it's not my area, <laughs> and then like, scoffed at him. And then so what he had to do was, he took his knife and he cut the package so that he could get the thing. And when he was, he was in a hurry, so he was quickly going to the front. And when he was doing that, their, their asset protection team, like, was following him around. And he's like, hey, you know, there's no effing, like, customer service here. I need help, so I, I'm, I did it myself. And, It is. It's, it is really saddening because hearing that, like, just upsets me. Because whenever I worked it, I tried my best, like, always to make people feel good. And that store is still in, you know, still up and it's still, like, doing, f I don't know how it's doing fine, but it's still there because they don't care. Like, they're like, oh yeah, it's fine that that happened because, you know. You can't really pay attention to that kind of thing. But it's like, that should be your main focus, is making people feel good about being there. Where am I going? I think I'll just go up. Why do you say that, honey? Oh, that's silly. Yeah, there's people who there's there's two types of people with that when that happens. Uh, there's people who will get really really pissed off and, and tell you to knock it off, and then there's people who will you know join in and have fun with you, you know. Uh, I think I only got angry a few times because you know I was cranky, I was tired, uh, and people usually are kind of silly when they do stuff like. They'll ride bikes through the store and like get in your way and like bounce balls all over the place and like be really loud and, and obnoxious. Like that kind of thing annoys me. But you know, if I see, you know, people just in, two people or something and they're just having fun together, like and not causing problems, then they're fine. I'll be like, hey, you know, like I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but uh, I won't say anything. Just make sure my manager doesn't see you because they'll, you know, they'll yell at you. So.
But I love whoopee cushions. Those are awesome. Like when I used to work in the back, like we would get the or the orders where you have to sort them out. And what I would do is, uh, if I found like a dog toy, for instance, that was squeaky, I would uh, grab it and I would immediately just start playing like Despacito with it or something. Well, my attempt at it. And everyone was just like, you know, everyone was just having fun. Like that's that's what it used to be like. Because you need those moments. Mm-hmm, that chicken face. Turn, turn. I want to go up there. I don't want to go here. I wonder how I get over here. I mean, any kind of social, like, experience will be helpful. Like, I know I talked a lot of bad about my job, or my old job, but there was some good stuff, too. Like, we, even though we were badly treated, like, we were, you know, pretty close together friends. And yeah, the they shouldn't have told you to go away. Like, you should be allowed to sit wherever you want. Like, there's a reason why benches exist there, so if they told you to move, like, they were in the wrong. Like, even if you were homeless, like, they can't just ask you to leave. Like, they don't... They shouldn't have, or here, here's what the, you know, my current workplace told me is you shouldn't uh, assume anything about anyone. Like, I want, I'm kind of tempted to try to jump over there, just a little bit. I want to, but I don't know. I'm going to try. Oh, this is a terrible idea. I... Yeah, like, you have every single right to be wherever you want to be in the store, like... Don't, don't listen to them. Yeah, they make it easier to be, they make it easy to be, uh, American stereotype. Like, the thing is, uh, a lot of modern conveniences, like TVs and appliances and stuff like that, they're a lot cheaper to get, so it's easier to get those instead of the things that you actually need. So people spend a lot more money on things they don't actually have to have. But then, like, there's things that 
you know, I think in this day and age, our necessity, like, I do think internet is a, uh, is a need. It's not going to keep you all, it's not what you need to live, but it is a need for, like, most people. But they make that, like, super expensive. Uh, yeah, it's it's like that. I think the cereal though It depends on what cereal like if you're getting the really cheap like knockoff brand like you know it, You can tell the difference I mean I try not to eat cereal as much anymore, but cereal is amazing. Like, one of my most favorite cereals, it's called Life Cereal, and it's just the best. Mm, where, where was I going? That's my question. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, oh. Alright. I want to go over there. Got it. Yeah, life cereal is great. It's a little bit more expensive uh, in some places, you know, but you're paying for the taste. Like, you're not going to get any other cereal like it. All right, that's what I wanted. Yeah, I, I recently bought like vanilla checks and. Um, yeah, Mountain Dew's great, but, uh... <laughs> uh it's, I guess it's just uh, a culture thing, you know? You just kind of grow up with it, and then, you know, you're used to it, so it's not really like we can tell if it's bad or not. I, myself, am a sugar fiend, so... It, tastes, it doesn't taste like sweat, unless you're sweating Mountain Dew. Have you been licking people who sweat Mountain Dew, honey? Uh-huh. I don't actually drink it that much, but... Because you're not wrong, like, Mountain Dew's good, but sometimes it just tastes weird. It's kind of like the Hershey's chocolate in other countries thing. Like, I know that sounds, you know, kind of weird and abstract, but uh, when I used to live in Finland, people would say that the Hershey's chocolate tastes like uh, vomit. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I've always liked this. But then I looked it up online and literally everyone who, like, talks about Hershey's chocolate that's not from, like, the U.S. says it tastes like vomit. And I'm like... Okay, I can see your point. What do, what do you have, honey? Is it that drink that you were talking about? Alright, I'm gonna try... Oh, get over there. I'm throwing banana. Holy! <laughs> well, I fell off the cliff. I just got 360 no scoped by a banana. Should be ashamed of myself, but I'm not. All right, you, you have a special place. With the uh, fire. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so I know... 
Uh-huh. Oh, I want to drink that. I want it. I want it. Huh. I'm wondering how I get up there, though. I'm tempted. I'm really tempted. Just to see if I can float, float around or something. I'm gonna try it. Nah, that was a bad idea. I... I think the white chocolate from Hershey's is probably one of the best chocolates I've ever had, but that's just my opinion. I don't know where I'm going. I mean, I know where I'm going, but I don't know how to get there. Like, what are you, what are you typing, Jaden? Like, oh, I guess the text from Twitch doesn't register like that. Join me in being lost. It's showing treasure directly to my right. I like banana bread, but if I eat too much of that, like, that stuff makes me so, like, bloated feeling. Well, I know it's like, yeah, if you eat anything, you know, but it's just banana bread is super sweet. Uh, something about super sweet things too. I think uh, if I eat like, like my tongue gets super, super sensitive. So, uh, okay, let me try this. Part of what? I really want to get up there. Oh, poutine is so good. Oh my god. just stuff my face right in that and all it is is it's fries and then like cheese pieces and uh, was it gravy it's like stuff that you think that would not like be super good it's just like oh my god Jaden you're making me starving even though I just ate You need to eat, Jaden. Eat. Oh, oh! I know how to get up there. I have, I have the epiphanies. I have had it. What I need to do here 
I don't know if I need to be able to jump from here. Man. This is super charge. I have to run like this. All the way here, turn, go up here. Jump over this, somehow. And turn and go like this. Or hope that my flame turns pink, purple. I haven't looked this up yet, but I think I'm I'm going to be doing that in a second. Come on, Jaden, eat, 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 nom, 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 nom. Wait, can I climb up there? I. I tried that, but the problem is when I go back, like what happens is uh, I'll just like drop down. I'll try it again if this doesn't work. I mean, yeah, get some pizza or some food. You gotta eat. Eat, eat, eat. eat. We're jumping and we're running and we're hitting the wall and we're still running. It's probably not as hard as I'm making it seem. That's uh that's a common theme in this game. You're not gonna be fat, Jaden. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to jump at some point. Can it be from here? Can it be from there? I don't know. There might be an alternate way. Welcome to this uh, children's uh, dragon game. Mm -hmm. Taking it way too seriously. Trying super hard to get 100% when there's no point in that. My fault. But. At least I'm still enjoying myself. You guys can hear funny stories about things. Yeah, they took away the flutter uh, ability, so it's kind of a problem. If you don't know what the flutter ability was, can I hit the thing? Do you mean the blue sparkly thing that floats up? I think, uh, no, I can't hit that because what happens is uh, when I when I'm running like that, it doesn't appear. But you see, there's there's the area I need to be at. I need to go over there. I don't remember how to get up there. I'm pretty sure if I just go around, that might be an easier solution. I'm gonna try. So, last I got stuck on a thing in the second world, and the person who was doing the video also was stuck on a thing, but we were doing it completely wrong. And that's why it was so hard for us to do. And somehow we still did it even though we did it wrong. So I guess that should be a, an accomplishment. Just brute forcing the game to do what you want. Alright, so this is going to take me over there. Which is where I need to go. Oh, 
Oh, there's jewels over here. We're gonna peek just a little bit. See how do I get over there? Am I gonna have to charge them? Is that what's happening? I'm just gonna save myself here. Okay. And yeah, the problem is when I'm charging too, he seems to fall faster, so he doesn't get a lot of height. I'll try again. Uh, that's just the way the charge jump works, though. Do you think I'm going too early? Oh, I almost could. I think I can get there. This is exactly what I had to do with the other one. But there was an easier solution back then. I don't know about there with this now. Yeah, that's why I gotta do it at the peak. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna look it up really quick while I'm still attempting this. YouTube.com Wait for my computer to load up. It might take a second. Like, it, just seeing someone do it uh, might give me the confidence to try more. So. Let's see, Spyro. Tree tops. Yeah, okay, there's a lot of things here. This is the same person who was doing this the hard way too, so... Right. He went here like I did. Okay, I'm watching. He jumps forwards. Okay. Oh, that's right. I'll show you. It's okay. 
Come here, you. Hey, it's okay. I like it. I should remember this. I used to. I did this a long time ago. I just forgot. So we're gonna meet with the dragon. Yeah, Spyro is, Spyro's voice is really good. It's not the same voice actor, but it's good. Alright. So, I think I have to go in a different direction to get over there. Uh, let me go back into the video. He's in the middle right now, so I gotta get to the middle. Alright, I'm gonna attempt it. Jump over here. Alright, see that's why I saved it, so yeah, okay. Jump. And just keep running and turning and going really freaking fast. And we go over here. And there we go. Hurt you a little bit, you can get flamed. There you go. Well, there we go. Okay, this level I made it a little bit harder than it should have been. But I got everything in here. I guidebook, let me look. Skill points. Okay, yeah, metal head. That's my, that's the boss, so I'm gonna go, be going there next. Just hop down here. Don't mind my noises, I'm just drinking something. Alright. And yeah, I'm trying to 100% it. Mm -hmm. This game is so good. Like, it's beautiful. I did run into a glitch earlier, by the way, and I, I made the video um, footage, so I'll probably put it up later. There's a interesting, there's like these metal spiders that you can only defeat with like the super flame or the supercharge, and they charge at you if you step on the area where they're in front of you. And I ran by one with the supercharge, and I came back up to like, uh, to see if there was like the secret in there. And when I saw it, the enemy was just walking around, like, stuck in a pillar, and I was like, okay, I don't know how that happened. Oh, okay, hi.
It's time to get a uh, PS4. Alright, I know I'm playing bad, and uh, that's because I'm bad, so don't worry about it. Shoutouts to sucking. Uh, Don't worry, it's okay, folks. Spyro's just sleeping. Yeah, I didn't start, like, losing lives until these stages, so... I know that's hard to believe. But the game just kind of got hard all of a sudden. So, hun, in 15 minutes, uh, I'll close down Spyro and I'll jump onto PSO2. Is that okay? I want to play with you uh, for a little while, if you have free time. Like I said, I want to show off some of the Monster Hunter stuff because I'm sure Jaden's really curious about it. And uh, I know Wolfie has been asking me about PSO2, so let me show off a little bit. Yeah, I'll be streaming it. Okay, that was just nonsense. Dragon Chan. Hi, Dragon. Sadiki. Oh, look, it's a boss. Oh, look, I'm going over here. Ah, Wolfie, you're so adorable. Well, now that I'm less stressed uh, about things, I think I can stream more often. Mm-hmm. Am I... Uh, I'm your nerdy. Snorts and just crooked glasses. I'm, I'm nerdy enough to RP with my voice. Alright, so one of the skill points for this is to beat the boss without getting hurt. So, I don't remember how this boss works. We'll see. I guess I gotta break his little thingies. Jaden, did you get some food? I 
I mean, this boss doesn't seem that hard, but I think he might have a second form, so. Oh, never mind. Okay. I feel slightly sad that that was so easy, but... And yeah, Wolfie, you'll be fine. You can do it. Just show him how cute you are, you'll be fine. It might not be as stressful as uh, mine was, so... Something that would have helped me a lot um, while I was working there was to be more vocal about everything. I mean, I know I was already, but uh, if I would have kept pushing, like, I would have been able to help myself more. Uh, there is a secret there. Wait, Burlington. Oh, hey, here we go. Hey, I appreciate it. Like, this is this is a beautiful game. Like, Insomniac or and whoever else worked on this. I can, I can go behind. I can go behind it, but the problem is I have to get high enough to get under that. So how do I get up higher? Go back a little bit and see because there was a place that uh, might be over here. I mean, there's stairs here, so let's see. Yeah, Toys for Bob made the uh, made this too. Wow. Table what? Mm -hmm. Okay, I see a place I could possibly. Oh, here we go. Flip. I need a key though. Oh, 
Alright, we're gonna go look for the key. Yeah, by the way, I really love his little scampering feet. Like, this is little... Little dragon claws, like, just... Like, look at that. Okay, Jaden, uh, I'm gonna be switching games over to PSO2, so if you wanna jump in, you can see some of the Monster Hunter stuff on it. Probably the only way I can get up there. What's over here? Oh, grass. Hi, Dremic. Happy birthday. Welcome to the stream. How do? <laughs> go back where? You want me to go in here? Oh, you want me to go through the, the tunnel? Okay. Yeah, no problem, Andromic. Uh, I'm happy that you're here. It's nice to celebrate your birthday with you. It's a shame we don't have, like, cake and stuff. Hmm. Blip. Oh. Okay, that happened. All right, so I'm here. What do you want? I need the key, which I'm pretty sure I can get in that. Other oh, is that the exit? Yeah. Check and see what's over here. And eh, that's just a black patch. Cool if I could walk up this, but uh, it's not gonna happen. I'm pretty sure the answer is in the the area where it is. I just am not seeing it. So we're gonna we're gonna go back. I would jump down there, but that's gonna make me die. Is 
Yay, cookies. Nom, 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 nom. Where did I start from? Did I start from in here? Maybe I can go around the back. That's probably the answer. I'm probably just being silly. There has to be something over here that I can do. But what? Let me look. Is there something I can jump on back here? Can I jump on the side things? I don't think I can even fly around, so that's not an answer. How about... How about... I get good scrub. Probably such an easy answer too. Like it's just gonna be like when I see it, it's gonna be just those ridiculously easy answers. Like there has to be. Oh, is there a way in that tower? I think there is. Hold on. I want to look at it. Well, I just got myself stuck. Like, is there something in here? There is. So the last thing we need to grab is that chest. How many is supposed to be in this? 500? So there's going to be 34 or 44 uh, gems in that chest, I guess. Or I just missed... Oh, right, right, that's right. There is some stuff back here in the first area. Yeah, this is going to be like... There we go. So it's just that one left, and then the, the chest, so jump and hope I don't screw it up. Don't screw it up. Cool. Okay, so there's only going to be 24 in there, which makes more sense. Some chicken. Nom nom nom. Come here. I love his little scampering. Also, they uh, they made the super flame and stuff look cool on on Spyro, like his back lights up and stuff. All right, that's twenty four. And there's that ding that I'm so addicted to hearing. Thanks, honey. Alright, so it looks like there's only two worlds left.
thank you. But now it's uh, 4.30, so uh, I was mentioning earlier that I was going to switch over to PSO2 now. So it's a good way to end the Spyro stream. I'll still be streaming, so I'm just going to switch the game really quick. Yeah, I should, uh... Le I should join. I should join. I should uh, go to the next world first before I turn the game off. Wasn't this the moment like that was pretty much like China? Okay, hun. How are you gonna start up your game? Okay. Oh yeah, by the way, um, when Spyro is transitioning levels in this, uh, you can do little cute things. Like you can blow fire, you can make him roll, you can flap your wings. Uh, you can't do it in the hot air balloon, but well, I'll show you that when we're transitioning levels if you want really quick. Look at how beautiful this is. Am I going to have to shoot that cannon? I think I am. Alright, here's the boss. I could go straight to the boss, but I will not do that. Mm -hmm. Hi, honey. Oh, did it update today? Oh, is that why it was in Japanese? We're just gonna meet the dragon. They're all noodly. They're they're either really skinny noodles or they're really fat noodles. Either way, noodles are noodles. All right, so we're gonna jump over here. We're gonna take care of this dude. And I'm gonna all you. I almost jumped over there to see what that was.
What are you? What? What are you? The fools you see in this world are invincible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds all right to me. What are you? Uh uh, you. What are you? What? Oh, is that what you are? I guess you're a switch? Was really that the only point of that? Okay. I guess I can be fine with that. We're gonna fly over here. I mean it it looks so like it's it looks so there already so it it may as well be like that you know could you imagine like an open world spiral game that'd be great Call it Super Spyro Odyssey. You must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. Instead of a hat, like Spyro could be like I don't know. What would the, what would a dragon put on as an accessory? A necklace? Spyro's necklace of Legend. Monster Hunter World's pretty good. Uh, I don't own it on PC though. If I did, I would let you play it. Sunglasses too, yeah. You know, the sad thing is I can see Spyro being, uh, being a dabber. So you have to be 75 on each. Yeah, but that's only for extra hard. So I don't think we actually have to be there for the quest. All right, let's go shrink those dudes. Oh, hey, there's some jewels over there. Good to know. You, hey, don't do that. Too much Elmo? Oops. Oh. Okay. Come on. A little bit. Wait, why is it only one? Come on. Turn. Turn. That good? There you go. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, I needed to shoot that guy. Uh, okay. Before that, let me get some gems. 
Yeah, that's my way back. I mean, they're pretty much the same colors, so... By the way, I really like the color scheme of, like, uh, teal and white. Like, it's something I really liked as a kid. Like, playing Symphony of the Night, I used to always make... I used to always save up to buy that stupid cloak of colors uh, for a la carte, and then I would just switch it to being teal and white. Shrink this dude. If I was fast enough, I wouldn't have had to do this, but it's fine. Just gonna take care of him really quick. And I guess just finish this stage off. Oh, you! I like how it scared the gorilla. He's like all scared, but then he just slapped me. Like. I was gonna have mercy on him. Uh, I guess you could say it's like light emerald, you know? Similar colors. No, you should help yourself out first. blow up. Cool. Okay, that's all finished. Guidebook. I'm looking at my skill, skills, dream weavers, secret room. Secret room. Where's that? Room? That room? Does that mean it? No, that's where I came from. Hmm. <sighs> Now I'm just curious though, like, what does it mean by secret room? I mean, obviously it means there's a secret room, but... But where? copy of oh is that what they did to the Spyro 
Also, uh, congratulations on your relationship, Wolfie. Oh, Fallout 76. You having fun there? Yeah? Okay, I just said let you run around. Gotta look for a secret room, I guess. Hmm. I'm glad to hear that. Like, it's always nice to see relationships working, so... Blap, blap, blap. Let me go to... I don't know if I'm going to find the secret room. It's probably somewhere stupid and simple and like everything else. I mean, there's Jock. There's a balloon man. Let's talk to balloon man. I can go to Nasty's world without fighting a boss or going into any levels. If I warp there, I can warp back, so I'm just gonna go there really quick. Welcome to Nerd Voice, Nerd Nerd, Snort, Glasses Twitch, yeah that's right, my glasses twitch. I mean, may as well grab the jewels while I'm here. I'm sure that they don't have the same glitches as the old game either. Yeah, there's uh, I'm pretty sure there's like a secret horde that you can go on or go into. I know there's more gems. But I think I have to open up the other stuff. Uh, anyway, honey, are you ready to play PSO2?
Okay. I'm gonna be closing Spyro down now for for now anyway. Um, I'm playing Fantasy Star Online too, so I'll be back in a second. <laughs> 